the opportunities of reciting the full bracha as we grow and we welcome the entire congregation to our beautiful sanctuary, Simon Sanctuary, and the Kaufman Shukman Chapel. Rabbi Mordecai Kaplan, my teacher, used to say that Judaism is a progressive religion, and we know that because of this particular bracha, Shehi Gi Anu, we have been brought forward. We are moving forward. We are arriving always to new destinations, to new opportunities. So Isaac, this is a new beginning for you. It's a new beginning for our congregation. And we pray that it will bring continued health, strength, and opportunities for fellowship. We know that many more would have wanted to be here this morning, but we still are being cautious and given the requirements of social distancing and limitations of travel, we are appreciative of the virtual technology that will keep us together. So special thanks to our executive director, Shari Levine, our communications coordinator, Jackie Goldstein, and our Beth Eltzedek staff for their technical assistance and for maintaining our facility above and beyond necessary safety protocols. So beyond attention to these public health rules, we will overcome social distancing and the warm feelings of affection of our, for our bar mitzvah and family will bring us together. Isaac, this moment will zoom by all too quickly. So enjoy the moment and cherish the memories. We're delighted to welcome you. Shabbat Shalom and Mazal Tov. Those who are with us may now direct their attention to the Lev Shalem prayer book and all others we invite to turn also to page 101 as the cantor introduces the service with the words of Matovu, collection of biblical verses that expresses joy at coming together for worship. Page 101. Matovu. Oh, Halecha Yaakov, Mishkenu Techa, Yisrael, Matobu. Oh, Halecha Yaakov, Mishkenu Techa, Yisrael. Now we invite Isaac to lead us in the recitation of the morning blessings, the Birchot Hashachar, prayers of thanksgiving upon awakening to a new day. Page 103 and 4. Amen. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam She'asani Betzalmo Amen Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam She'asani Ben Chorin Amen Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam She'asani Yisrael Amen Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Tokeach Ivrim Amen Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Malbish al Rumim. Amen. Baruch Ata Arai Eloheinu Melech Haolam. Ma'otir Asurim. Amen. Baruch Ata Arai Eloheinu Melech Haolam. Lokev Kefufim. Amen. Baruch Ata Arai Eloheinu Melech Haolam. Rokeach Haaretz Achamayim. Amen. Baruch Ata Arai Eloheinu Melech Haolam. Hamachin me'ad mitzadeko gaver. Amen. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam she'asani li kol tzorki. Amen. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam ozir Yisrael bigvura. Amen. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam otir Yisrael betifara. Amen. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam hanotein la'ayv koach. 
Amen. We continue on page 122. Isaac chants the blessings which give thanks for our place in God's world. Baruch She'amar. Baruch She'amar. Baruch Baruch Ose Vereshi Baruch Omer Ose Baruch Gevor Unkayim Baruch Merahim Al Haaretz Baruch Merahim Al Chabriyot Baruch Meshalim Sachar Tovirah Baruch Ayla Ad Vekayam Lenetzach we turn to page 136. Isaac continues with the verses from the Psalms. Ashrei Yoshvei Veitecha. You may follow a transliteration of this on page 181 of the Sidur. 136 or 181. Ashre Yoshve Vitecha, Odi Halelu Hasela, Ashre Ham Shekahano, Ashre Ham Shadonai Aloham, Tehila Le David, Arim Ha Elohai Hamelech, for Avaha Shimcha Leolam Vaed, Behoyama Vaheka, Valela Shimcha Leolam Vaed, Gado Alunai Umhua Meo. Veligulato in Haker, Dor le doya shabak ma asaka, Ugberotaka ya gidu. Hadar kibod chodecha, Vedivreni kleotecha asifa, Vezuz marotaka yomiru, Ugdulatecha asa prana. Vecherav tocha ya biu, Vetziv katecha yaranenu, Hanun erachumadona hai, Tobadonai Lako, Rahama, Volkoma, Asaf, Yodunai Koma Seka, Vahasideka Yevar Puka, Kebod Mahutacham, Yomeru, Ugurateha Yedaberu, Yalibeha Adam Gibrota, Ukhot Hadar Malkuto, Mahutacha Mahut, Ko Olamim, Mem Shalteha, Behodor Vador, Some Katonai Lakola no Flim, Soke Lakola Kifim, Eneko Alohai Yesa Saberu, Yes, Saberu, but I taught no tain lahem et o flambe ito, Potea Ketia deca, Mastia called Hyrazon, Sadik Adonai Beho de Raha, Vahasid Behoma Asaf. Shem <laughs> Shem Kocho Leolamba Ed, the Anak Nunavaria, Nea Taviadolam, Hallelujah. Service continues now on page 148. We ask those of you who are with us and are able to rise for the Hatsi Kaddish, and you may do so as well at your homes if you're joining us by Zoom. Page 148. Ye God of Ye Kada Shemera, Amen. Velma di Vera Hirute, the Amlik Mohute, Baha Ye Hon, Du Yome Hon, Uha Ye de Hobe Israel, Bagala Udis Mankariv, the Emeru, Amen. Yeheish <laughs> Amen. 
Please remain standing for the call to morning prayer, the Barakhu, page 149. <laughs> Blessed are you, Adonai, sovereign of time and space, who forms light, creates darkness, and brings harmony to all creation. Please be seated. I'm sorry, I'm asking you once again to remain standing as we continue on page 155 with the Shema, our affirmation of faith. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Baruch Shem Kevod Malchuto Leolam Vaed. V'yahavta ha'ehit Adonai Elohecha, Beko Levavecha ha'u Beko Nafshecha, Remember then to observe my mitzvot and be holy unto your God. I, Adonai, am your God who brought you out of the land of bondage to be your God, I, the Eternal, your God in truth. Amen. I invite you to be seated, and we continue on page 158 with the words that Moses, Miriam, and the Israelites sang on their journey to freedom and to the land of promise, Mi page 158. Mi chamocha b'ahelim Adonai Mi chamocha nehedar b'kodesh Norah tehilot oh sefer Shira Hadasha, Shira Kurge Ulim Lashimaka, Alessapatayam Yahad Kulam, Odu de Himliru de Ameru Adonai Himelok Leolam Bahed So Yisrael Kuma. Amen. We invite you to rise. We continue on page 159. The cantor will chant the opening blessing of the Amida, and then we will continue uh, with a few moments of transition. Uh, after Lador Vador, I invite you to continue in private, silent prayer, adding the words of your own heart to the words of tradition. Page 159. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu, 
אלוהי אברהם, אלוהי יצחק ואלוהי יעקב, אלוהי שרה, אלוהי רבקה, אלוהי רחל ואלוהי לאה, האל הגדול, הגיבור והנורא, אל עליון, כל מלך חסדים טובים וקונה הכל. וזוכר חסי אבות ואימות, ומביא גואל לבני בניהם, למען שמו באהבה. נא לחוזר מושיע ומגן, ברוך אתה אדוני, מגן אברהם ועזרת שרה. From generation to generation, we declare your greatness and sanctify your name in words of holiness. Page 161, Ledor Vador. Ledor Vador, Ledor Vador, Ledor Vador, Nagid Gold Leha, Ule Netzach Netzachim, Ule Netzach Netzachim. קדושתך נקדיש לדור ודור, לדור ודור, לדור ודור נגיד גוד לך ולנצח נצחים ולנצח נצחים קדושתך נקדיש תשבחך אלוהינו מפינו לא ימוש לעולם ועד כי אל מלך הדור כי אל מלך הדור וקדוש אהתה לדור ודור לדור ודור לדור ודור נגיד גוד לך ולנצח נצחים ולנצח נצחים קדושתך נקדיש ברוך אתה אדוני ברוך הוא ברוך שמו We continue silently with the remainder of the Amidah, page 162 through 166. And to these prayers, we add our own hopes and meditations, culminating in a few moments with a prayer for peace. עם שלום טובה וברכה, חן וחסד ורחמים עלינו ועל ישראל ועל כל העולם, grant peace, goodness, blessing, grace, love, compassion for us, for the people Israel, and for all humanity. May it please you to bless your people Israel and all the world at every season and at all times with your gift of shalom. O say shalom. Oh, say shalom in Romah, who ya say shalom aleinu, de al kol Yisrael, ve imru imeru amin. Ya say shalom, 
יעשה שלום, שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל. יעשה שלום, יעשה שלום, שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל. continues on page 168. Um, with the introduction to the Torah service, but I will ask you to be seated for just a few moments as we transition to that. Those of you who are with us uh, may turn at this moment to the Eitz Chaim Torah commentary, uh, which will be used after the uh, liturgical uh, introduction to the Torah service. And uh, I invite you to also uh, have a learning opportunity of this morning's Torah portion by visiting a Beth El Tzedek Facebook page where you will find a video of Rabbi Jenny Greenspan's uh, earlier uh, Torah discussion. Uh, our Bar Mitzvah has also prepared a teaching that he will share later with us about his Torah portion and the significance of this day. Uh, I would like to add just a, a brief word as we make this transition because on this Shabbat we begin a new book from the Torah. We are entering the fourth uh, Humash, the fourth of the five books of the Torah. And we know it in Hebrew custom customarily as Bemidbar. Uh, the word Midbar in Hebrew does not mean a desert as in the Saharan a sense of the desert. It's more accurately understood as a wilderness. Uh, biblically, it's a place where a shepherd would take its flock. There is life in the Midbar, and it is the Midbar that the Israelites journeyed through for 40 years, and this book focuses on that experience. Interestingly, in the Western tradition, beginning with the Greek translation of the Torah, known as the Septuagint, this book has become known as the Book of Numbers. Well, numbers is not a Greek word, it's a Latin term, numeroi, and that derives from the name that the first translation of the Bible into another language, the Greek in the third century before the Common Era, gave to this book, and that was Arithmoi. Arithmoi is the Greek term that gives us the word arithmetic. So why is this book known as the book of arithmetic or the book of numbers? Well, because it contains, especially at the beginning, detailed numbers of the census of the Israelites, the different tribes as they journey through the desert after having leaving Egypt for the promised land. And uh, a teaching of my colleague, Michael Boyden, reminds us that these periods of wilderness in our life, and haven't we not been through a period of wilderness over the past 14 or 15 months or so, these periods of, wit of wilderness uh, are often associated with numbering. We number the days, how much longer. We've been bombarded with statistics about cases and recoveries and those hospitalized, those who died. Being in the wilderness is an uncertain time and we get a certain concreteness a certain direction, a certain certainty by taking note of things, by counting. And these times of wilderness, because they are times of uncertainty, are also times when leadership is challenged and leadership can arise or leadership can fall. And the book of Numbers that we will be reading during the next several weeks, Bemitbar, is a book about the trials of leadership, 
of Moses and Aaron, moments of confusion, moments of revolt, moments of tension. It is in such situations that unscrupulous leaders can come in and confuse the situation even more, take despair and achieve their own power and work towards their own purposes. That's why counting people is important. But even more important than counting people is counting on people that we can, in the midst of difficult situations, bring some sense of stability, of coherence, of purpose, of direction as we move towards the promised land. So, especially during this past week, we are counting. We are counting injured people, we are counting the dead among the Israelis and the Palestinians. And we hope that out of this wilderness, out of this confusion, we will be able to move to a new time, not only of health, but of healing, a time of consolidation, a time of coming together, a time of shalom. We continue on page 168 in the prayer book, and uh, we are prepared to uh, turn to the reading of the Torah. And uh, let me ask you to rise at your seats, and we invite Meyer, Simon, and David to join us as we rise, and also grandparents to take their place at the Bima. <laughs> Vein a grandma a seva, Malakut a ra, Malakut, Coronamim, Umana shall take a beautiful door, the door. Adonai, 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 Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Echad Eloheinu, Gado Adonai Kado Shemo. Echad Eloheinu. Adonai, Adonai, Adonai. 
The biggest difference now between your bar mitzvah and your brother's is I had to make my font bigger. <laughs> Isaac, as I assume, you knocked it out of the ballpark today. You followed in the footsteps of Meyer and Simon, who have stood on this very bima and made us extremely proud as well. And we look forward to David up here in a few years. All of the time you spent studying, Zooming, and practicing paid off. Seeing you here at Beth El Zedek, up on the bima, leading us in prayer, and about to read from the Torah is a feeling that is hard to put into words, but I'll try. As I reflect on your journey, I tear up with immense pride joy, and love. I remember vividly the day you were born. You were the only one out of your brothers that did not have to be induced or coaxed out. You proclaimed your intention to enter the world on May 19th by waking me up between 4 and 5 a.m. with contractions, and you arrived three hours later. I should have known from that entrance that you would be up for any adventure or challenge that would be thrown your way. Isaac. You embrace life and all it has to offer, and you don't let anything slow you down. You walked at 10 months, learned to ride a two-wheeler without training wheels before the age of four. You have explored Israel, traveled all over Italy in a walking boot, and cooked hibachi dinner for 30 plus people. In addition to your perseverance, Isaac, you have a heart of gold. You know the importance of giving to others. You find it rewarding to shop for Popsy's Pantry. You help serve Christmas meal at Cathedral Soup Kitchen. When you see others in need, you are the, often the first to step up to the plate. Like the baseball references I'm throwing in here. This also applies when you see people who are sad or sitting by themselves. I remember in fifth grade at a parent lunch at school, I remember we were sitting at a table in the library and you saw a friend whose parent was not there, and you whispered that they were sitting by themselves, and we should invite them to sit with us. You never want anyone to feel alone or left out. You read people well, and can tell when people are sad or happy. Isaac, you are the most empathetic person I know. Sneeze break. <laughs> you care about people, and it shows in how you live your life. Although you like to tease, your younger brother, when we leave you in charge of David, we are confident in how well you will take care of him and watch out for him. Isaac, you are playful and fun to be around. You have a magnetic personality and a great laugh. People like to be around you. You are patient and kind with your grandparents and remind me to be so also. You also have a strong sense of fairness. You are steadfast in your opinion, knowing right from wrong, and like to see justice served. You are thoughtful and wise. You are not afraid to ask questions. 
And equally important, you are not afraid to laugh. I love watching comedies with you. Hearing your laughter always brings a smile to my face. Isaac, I want you to know the reason I did not list your academic or athletic achievements up here today in this speech. Academics and athletics are easily measured. You can see your grades, you know the score of a match or a game. While these are fun to keep track of, you have other qualities that are not as concretely measured. Isaac, you are a man of integrity and honor, a true mensch. My wish for you is to continue to be a mensch. Press forward in doing what is right, what is loving, and what is kind, and what is compassionate. See the joy and love in life. Continue to be a loving and devoted son and brother. Continue to be a great friend to others. Remember to laugh and remember to stay true to yourself because, in my eyes, you are the perfect version of you. I love you. I gotta learn not to let your mom speak first. <laughs> Isaac, you are doing a great job today. I hope you are proud of what you've accomplished, not only today, but for everything you did to prepare for becoming a bar mitzvah. <laughs> I know your mom and I are extremely proud of you. You exceeded not only your own expectations, but those around you as well. Isaac, as mom said, you came into this world in a hurry and continue keeping us on our toes to this day. With your brothers, mom labor, mom's labor lasted most of the day and night. With you, we were at the hospital at 6 a.m. and holding you in our arms at 7.30, nine and a half pounds and with a full head of hair. We should have known then what we had with you. You were eager to live life, and patience wasn't going to be one of your greatest virtues. You were born the third of four boys, following almost right in the middle age-wise. You are basically our middle child. As a little brother, you had to mature quickly to be able to hang out with Meyer and Simon. In fact, you matured so quickly, I say that you are a first teenager. As a big brother, you are always making sure David is okay. When David needs help, I think we hear you before we hear him. Isaac, you are an inquisitive and passionate person who loves to learn and try new things. In school, you are constantly asking questions and are eager to share your thoughts with teachers and friends. Sometimes your teachers feel you are too eager, too much socializing and blurting out answers. But as someone who was very shy in school, I actually love to hear these comments. Keep it up. At home, you like to build and construct things, such as picnic tables and foldable bikes. Sadly, I am not much help in this area. In sports, you have played football, baseball, basketball, soccer, tennis, lacrosse, and even show a love for fishing. As you grow older, continue to be willing to step out of your comfort zone and try something new. Most of all, though, Isaac, I feel you have a great understanding of people and how your actions impact them. This can be a good or bad thing. Sometimes you use this skill to teach us. Not only David, but also your older brother, parents, and even grandparents. However, you more often use this skill in a good way. Whether it is family or friend, you're someone who can be counted on to help out in a time of need. When you were in first or second grade, you took some money, about five or ten dollars, to buy toys at a school garage sale. You came home that night and only bought one thing. When I asked you why, you said matter of factly, that a classmate had forgotten his money and you gave him half of yours to spend. You didn't just give him one dollar, but half, because that seemed more fair to you. At Camp Michigan, one night when David was younger, we were at dinner and rain looked imminent. You, Meyer, and Simon did the ten minute walk back to our cabin before the rain came, and before Mom, David, and I had finished dinner. Shortly after, it began to downpour. We were sitting in the dining hall, hoping to wait out the rain, when I saw you walking back in. I asked what you were doing back at the dining hall, and you showed me three umbrellas that you had brought. You braved the rain <laughs> so that we, particularly David, wouldn't get soaked. Nobody asked you to do these things. You just knew to do them. You stand on the bema today as a bar mitzvah. You have accomplished a lot in getting to this point, but it is not the end of your growing, is it? In fact, I see it more as a beginning. You should use your inquisitiveness to continue to ask questions and learn and expand your understanding of Judaism. You're an incredible son, brother, and friend. And in a reference to your Torah portion, some of us all, some of us, someone all of us can always count on. We love you very much. You can hug him back. <laughs> <laughs> all right, it's time to read Torah. Let's do it. Thank you.
Thank you. For the um, reading of the Torah, I call your attention once again to the Eitz Chaim, uh, Torah and Haftorah commentary text. Uh, we are going to be reading from uh, the second uh, section of the triennial cycle, uh, beginning at the Book of Numbers, the Midbar, chapter 2, verse 17. And that corresponds to page 776 in the Eitz Chaim. Uh, text. And for the first Aliyah, we invite parents, Karen and Michael Rothbaum, and Isaac will chant from the Torah. Nava Amod Rishon Baruch Hu Adonai Hamvora Baruch Adonai Hamvora Leolam Ba'ed Baruch Adonai Hamvora Leolam Ba'ed Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Bachar Banu Mikol HaAmin, V'natam Lani LeToroto, Baruch Atah Adonai, Noten HaTorah. Amen. V'nasha Uchel Mu'ed, Machane Cholviyim, V'toch HaMachanot, Ke'asher Yachanu, Ke'nisha Uchel. Ish ayado ledigoychem. Dega machane Ephraim, letivo tam yama. Then I see Livne Ephraim, Alishama, Ben Amichud, Itva o Ukudichem. Arbaim, Ela Fahamesh me oat. They are love, my temenashe. Then I see Livne Menashe, Gamiel, Ben Pedatur, Utva o Ukudichem. Shnaim. Ushloshim, Aleph, Umataim, Umate, Vinyamin, Venasi, Livne, Vinyamin, Avidan, Ben Gidone, Utva, O Ufudichem, Vachamisha, Ushloshim, Aleph, Varba, Meot, Koha Pekudim, Machane, Ephraim, Meat, Aleph, Ushmunat, Alafim, Umate, Latibotam, Ushli Shem Yisau. Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Matan Lanu Torah Temet, V'chayei Olam Netan Betochenu, Baruch Atah Adonai, Noten HaTorah. Amen. Amen. For the second Aliyah, we uh, call on grandparents, Barbara and Chuck Solomon, Sandra and Don Rothbaum to recite the blessings, and Isaac continues reading from the Torah. Amen. <laughs> Echad Ba'arba'im Elef Umataim Umat Vachamesh Me'ot Umate Naftali Venasi Livne Naftali Achi Ezer Bain O Bain Bain Anan Utva O Ufurichem Shlosha Vachamishim Elef Va'arba Me'ot Kolcha Pekudim Umachanedan Me'at Elef Ushva Vachamishim, Elef Vashesh Meot, Lachorona, Isa Uve di Iglehem. Shakai Baruch Atanai, Eloheinu Melech Aulam, Asher Natalan and Tarat and Met, Vahaye Olam Natalan. 
Amen. For the third aliyah, we invite brothers Meyer and Simon Rothbaum. And uh, Isaac continues reading at verse 32. Amen. Amen. For the fourth aliyah, we invite aunt and uncles, Renee and Jay Prostowski and Jeff Solomon. Cantor continues the reading at chapter 3, verse 1. Amen. For the fifth aliyah, we invite uh, cousins, aunts and cousins, Suzette Solomon, uh, Lisa Solomon Mann, and cousins Ryan and Henry Mann. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Vayedaber Hadonai Amoshele Mohor. Ha Krivet Vata Harlevi. The Ha Amada Taha to Lifne Aharon Ha Kohin. The Sher to Oto. The Shamru at me Shmarto. Let me shmeret kol ha-ha-ed ha-lifnei o-yamo e-ed La-avod et avodat ha-mishkan ve-shamiru Et kol keili o-hel mo-ed ve-et mishmeret ben Yisrael La-avod et avodat ha-mishkan Ve-natata et ha-lavi-im le-aharun u-levanav Netunim and netunim heima loho me-eit v'nei Yisrael V'yat aharon v'yat vanav tiv kohod v'shamaru et kevunatam V'hazar hakriv yomat v'yadaber hadonai amoshe lemor V'ani hinei l'kakti at alvim mitok v'nei Yisrael tachat kol bechor Peterach and Mibne Israel, the Hayu, Huli, Halviim, Kihili, Kolbehor, the Yom, Akoti, Kolbehor, the Eretz Mitraim, Akadashti, Lihi, Kolbehor, be Israel, Me Adaham, Ad Behima, Lihi, Uhani, Adonai. Amen. For the sixth Aliyah, we invite Uncle Daniel Rothbaum, Aunt Ann Pizer, and cousins Leah and Kiefer Ketnis. It's Aunt Leah. I, I either promoted her or demoted her, depending on how you <laughs> consider the relationship. Shall <laughs> Tif kedehim vayiv kodota hamoshe al pi adonai ka asher tsuva vayu ele vene levi hibe mishmotam gershon ukehat umerari hibe ele shamot vene gershon le mishmotam li vene hibe shimi hu vene kehat le mishmotam Amaraham of Eta Harkevron, the Uzi El, who the name Mary Hilamish Bakotam, Nakhlium Mushi, Elehem, Mishbekota, Levi, Leveta Havotam. For the seventh Aliyah, pleasure to call on aunt and uncles Jessica and Benji Rogers and John Rothbaum. Verse 
Amen. Amen. <speaking in Hebrew> Unesivet ahav le gershuni, Eliasaf ben le la el. Umi shemeret ben e gershon be o helmo e dumi hamishkan. Beha beha o hel. Mirsehu masaf petach o helmo e hid. The kal e hechat seher. The et masaf petach hechat seher asher al mishkan. The Alamis Beach Savi Ve eight Metarahav Lehola Vodato. Enter will now roll the scroll, the scroll to the Maftir selection that will be chanted by our Bar Mitzvah. Uh, if you are following in the Torah text, this is on page 785, uh, the book of Numbers, Bemidbar, chapter 4, at verse 17. Yamohat, Yamohat, have a poor yeet's fuck. Then Michael, the Masha, bin Yamina, Baramita, Naftira, Sak. Baruch, I don't know, I am Bora. Baruch, I don't have Rock, I am Baed. Baruch, I don't have Rock, I am Baed. Baruch, I don't have Rock, I am Baed. I share the carbon in Mikohani, the Natawanu at Torto, Baruch Ata Arunai, no tain her Torah. Amen. They are the bear Arunai, El Moshe, Velcha Arun Lemur, all talk free to. I'll talk. I, I couldn't find out. I'll talk. Et she vet me spacho, take a hati, me to halavin, vezo, asu lachem, vehayu velo, yamuzu, vagish tom, et kodash takodashim, a haron, uvanav yabo, u, vesamu o tom, ish, ish, alavorato, el masa o, lo yabo, near oats, cave all of it, ha kodash, were made to. Baruch Ata Adonai, Elohim, Numan, Talam, Asher, Natawan, and Torah, and Met, Rokhai, Elam, Natab, and Zainu, Baruch Ata Adonai, no ten for Torah. Amen. I invite you to rise as the Torah scroll is lifted.
Please be seated. I invite you to follow the chanting of the Haftarah for this Shabbat, which our Bar Mitzvah will now uh, do for us. And you can follow it on page 787, and then continuing on 789 and uh, 790. Uh, this Haftarah is from the prophet Hosea. Uh, and once again, it picks up on the theme of numbers, but it ends uh, with a theme of love, devotion, commitment. And those of you who are familiar with the liturgy will recognize in the closing verses of this Haftarah the um, words that are recited upon affixing the tefillin. Uh, it is a word of uh, loving commitment. Uh, I will espouse you forever. I will espouse you to me with righteousness and justice, with goodness and mercy. I will espouse you to me in truthfulness. Uh, these words are also uh, a beautiful compliment to a wedding ceremony as we often use them. Words of loving commitment. So Isaac will now read for us the Haftarah beginning at page 787 after he recites the blessing. Asher Bahar bin the Im Tomim, Berat Sabed Ibrahim, Hane Emarim, Bemet, Baru Ata Adonai, Haboher Batora, Umoshe Abdo, Uvistra El Amo, Vimbeha Emet, Vatsed. Bohaya Mis Par Ben Israel, Kelho Hayam. Asher lo yimad, v'lo yisafer, v'chayah, b'im kom. Asher yeyamer lachem, lo ami yaten, yeyamer lachem, b'nei el chai. V'nik betu, b'nei yehuda, u'bnei Yisrael yachtav, v'samu lachem, rosh echad. Follow me, Haaret, Higado, Yom Yisrael, Irum Lachem, Ami, Veloti, Vela Achotechem, Ruchama, Lachem, Hine, Anochi, Mefatecha, the Hulachtiha, Hamibar, Vedibarti. Oliba Venatati la et Kiramecha Misham, Vet Emek Achor, Lefeta Tikba, the Anta Shama, Kime Neurecha, Uchyom, Alotamer Mitraim, Vehaya, the Yom Kahu Ne Umaronai, Tigre Ishi, the Lot Tigre Eli Od, Bali. Hasi roti et shemot haba ali mi piha velo yizachru od bishmam b'charati lachem berit vayom chachu im chayat hasadev veim of hashamayim v'remesh haadama v'keset v'cheret umilchama. Eshbor, Mincha Aret, Vachaskavtim, La Veta, Verash Sikli, Leolam, Verash Sikli, Vate, Def Uvishpat, Uvchesed, Vachamisha, Uvrahamim. Ve'erash sikli ve'emuna ve'yada et Adonai. Oh, Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu, melech ha'olam, tor kol ha'olamin, sadik v'chol ha'dorot, ha'el ha'neeman, ha'omer ve'oseh, ha'mnaber unkayim, she'akol devarav emet v'atzedek. Neeman atahu Adonai Eloheinu v'neemarim devarecha edabar echad midvarecha achor lo yashuv rekam 
ki el melk ne amal and rahaman ata baruch ata adonai ha ha el kane eman bechol derachad rahem altion ki bet hayenu la luvat nefesh toshi ya bimhera yavo bimhera beyamenu baruch ata adonai Mesame Sion Bevanecha Sam Henu Adonai Elohinu, the Eliakul Hanavi Adecha, Umaku Beta Bin Meshikecha, Bin Hera Yavo, Beagel Libenu, Oki Solo Yushazor, Velo Din Helu, Od Acherim et Kibodo, Kibashem Kojahanish Batalo, Sholo Yik Venero, Leolam Baed. Baruch Ata Adonai, Magen David, Al Hatora, Belha Avada, Belhamim, Belyam Hashada, Belhade, Haze, Shinatati, Shinatata Lanu Adonai El Henu, Ligusha, Vilimnuka, Lachi Bod, Uliki Barret, Al Hako, Adonai El Henu, Anaknu Modim Lach, Umbarahim Otak. Ibrah Shinka, the people fight for me, lay along by it, Baruch Ata Adonai, Maka Dish Hashabar. Amen. Yesher Koach, Isaac. We prepare to return the Torah scroll to the ark. We invite uh, David Rothbaum, Isaac's brother, to come and open the doors of the ark. As we turn to page 183, please rise. Please be seated. It's my pleasure to call on our bar mitzvah, Isaac Rothbaum now to share with us some personal words, telling us about his Torah portion and about the significance of this day in his life. My Torah portion is Bamidbar, which is, a for, which is the first portion in the book of Numbers. It includes a census of males over the age of 20 ordered by God. They are doing the census to find out how many men over the age of 20 can be used as troops. However, it did not include the Levites. The Levites took care of the temple instead of serving in the military. The second sentence for the Levites counted anyone over one month old. Something I find interesting in this portion is that they did a census. We still do censuses in the United States every 10 years. 
It keeps track of every living person in the U.S., their, their age, race, and gender. It helps us know how many people of all different ages and races we have in the country at a given time. This is interesting to me because in the Torah, the census mainly makes sure that the Israelites have a strong military for the whole nation. In the U.S. Census, we count even more, not just men over the age of 20, but every single person. This helps us know how diverse our country is and ensures everyone is counted. I think our modern census makes more sense. To really understand who we are, we have to count every single person. However, for its time, the Torah, the Torah census made sense. They had different expectations and roles for different genders and what it took to be strong. We have grown and expanded since then, but we still make the time to count every single person. Something we can learn from this portion is that, they're in value, is that there is value in every single person and every single person has a place in society. I would like to thank some people who have helped me begin to take my place in Jewish society as I become a bar mitzvah. I would like to thank Rabbi Dennis for being a strong leader for our community and entertaining us with his puns. Thank you, Rabbi Jenny, for helping me prepare my Olio and for helping me write my speech. Thank you, Kana Melissa, for helping me learn all of my Olio and for helping me prepare all of my blessings in my Siyulah. I would also like to thank George Kelly, he is from the BJE, and my religious school teachers for helping me further my Jewish knowledge and understanding what it is to be Jewish. I would like to thank Papo for slowing down enough so I can be competitive with him in tennis. I would like to thank Mamo for her delicious brisket and always letting me win. I would like to thank Mimi for teaching me what it is to be competitive and always for beating me. I would like to thank Papa Don for teaching me the value of gambling. I would, would, I would like to thank Maya for always playing football with me and for buying the PS4 for mom and dad so they would get us an Xbox. I would like to thank Simon for teaching me how to play fantasy sports. I would like to thank David for attempting the, to help me learn all of the Hebrew I know today. Mom, thank you for always loving me and bringing me and doing everything and doing basically everything for me. <laughs> last, but, last but not least, Dad, thank you for always coming to my, all my sports games and being an amazing dad. Thank you to thank you to everyone who is here to celebrate with me today, whether in person or virtually. I'm proud to be I'm proud to become a bar mitzvah at Congregation Bethel Zedek. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. See you there? Perfect, perfect. So Isaac, you saved us a little bit of time uh, with the way you delivered the speech there. <laughs> it was really fast. <laughs> but you were good. The speech was great. The content was great. Let's see if I can do as well. You know, Isaac, um, over the years, uh, Rabbi Sandy and I have celebrated uh, so many simchas with your family, and uh, to stand here today with yet another Solomon Rothbaum bar mitzvah is a source of great joy. You follow in the footsteps of your brothers, Meyer and Simon, and you establish a good model for David and uh, hopefully when David has his bar mitzvah, he'll be able to have a full synagogue. Uh, today we have a full synagogue. We have a synagogue filled with people who love you and people who admire you, who join you from across the country. It's not only filled with people, it's filled with good wishes and with love. I so very much enjoyed our conversation over the phone in preparation for this day. I asked you what becoming a bar mitzvah meant to you, and you said, means embracing adulthood. That's a wonderful description, because adulthood is a process, and you are now entering it with full awareness of what it means. 
And it was evident from our conversation that you are an extrovert young man with a great sense of humor, never at a loss for words. You gave me some good material last night as uh, you recited some very clever puns. And uh, you not only talk the talk, however, you also walk the walk, as they say, because you are a dedicated, responsible, and engaged young man in all that you do. In addition to your class interests in math and in science, your parents have already noted, and you shared with me, that you're an avid sportsman. You especially enjoy baseball and play for the Colts, a travel team. You also like lacrosse and football. You know, there's a Jewish version of lacrosse. It's called La Star of David. <laughs> well, you enjoy watching basketball. And you know, some of us have limitations uh, for that sport. Uh, like the rest of your family, you are good at tennis. And you told me this morning that you also like bowling. Is that true? He likes the bow? A little bit. A little bit? Well, uh, since you were telling us a, f a few good lines last night, let me just leave you with this one. Evidence has been found that William Tell, you know who William Tell was in Switzerland, and his family were avid bowlers. Unfortunately, all the Swiss league records have been destroyed. And so we will never know for whom the Tells bowled. <laughs> but, aside for your, from your interest in sports and your involvement in physical activities, Isaac, I've come to respect your strong intellectual bent. And when I asked you what was special about Judaism at this moment for you, you told me that you got to read from the Torah, and you understood that reading from the Torah is not something you just do with your mind, but that you do with your heart. It is a symbol of embracing adulthood, as you told me. Well, Isaac, as you grow old, I want you to remember that the Torah is not just a book about answers, but a book about questions. And your parents have already indicated that you are an inquisitive young man and that you like to ask questions. And I discovered that during our conversation, and I really enjoyed the theological uh, aspects of the conversation that we had over the phone. Well, there was a famous Jewish scientist. His name was Isaac Rabi, your namesake. And uh, he tells the story that when he was growing up, his mother would never ask him when he returned from school, Izzy, what did you learn today? She would always ask him, Izzy, what good questions did you ask today? So like your namesake, Isaac, continued to ask good questions about science and history, about God, and Judaism, about life. We concluded the conversation when I asked you what you hoped to do when you grew up. And you listed three options right off the bat. You said the first would be to be a professional sports player, to which you promptly added, it's unlikely. Your second option was to enter the military, except that you were very clear that it would not be the Coast Guard or the Navy or the Air Force. I guess that leaves the Army. You said you liked the strategic, hands-on, creative side of military life. And then you said that you would also, of course, consider being a physician. And you have good models in your family. You even said an ophthalmologist. Well, whatever you choose to do, Isaac, Keep your eye on the ball, ask good questions, continue to be the caring, funny, joyful, and at the same time, serious-minded young man that your parents and family are proud of and love so much today. I'd like delighted to celebrate with your parents, with your proud grandparents and family who sit here today, and we look forward to many, many more simchas in the circle of Rothbounds, and Solomons. I'd like to offer a prayer of blessing for you as we reach this milestone. Mishe 
אבותינו אברהם יצחק ויעקב ואמותינו שרה רבקה רחל ולים. הוא יברך את יצחק בן מיכאל ומשה שעלה היום לקריאת התורה והפטרה לאות הבעת רצון להיות חיים ראויים לבן ישראל. May God who blessed our ancestors bless you, Isaac Solomon Rothbaum, who have today been called to the reading of the Torah and the Haftarah, in token of your desire to live a worthy Jewish life. May God who was with you from birth and enabled you to grow to your present stature in body and in spirit continue to be with you in the years that are ahead. May it be God's will that you grow in health and in strength, in wisdom and humility, in love and in loyalty, in faith and in courage, that you may ever be a joy to your parents, an honor to your people, a credit to your country, and a true servant of God. I'd like to ask you and your parents and grandparents and family to join in a Sheikh Yanu to affirm the joy of this moment. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shehehiyanu Vekiimanu Vehigiyanu Lazman Hazeh Amen. Mazel Tov. Dad, there is a bag there, if you could just go and reach for it. It's under all the uh, speeches, just bring that out. Okay, this is Isaac's Jewish toolkit. And uh, you can, there you go. You can carry it with you to sports, you can carry it to you, with you to school. And there are important tools there for your Jewish life. There is a Torah, there is a prayer book, there's a tzedakah box, there's a kiddush cup, there is a gift certificate from the Federation. So these are gifts from the rabbi's cantor, the congregation, men's club, sisterhood, and uh, all who celebrate and wish you well on this day. So mazel tov. And we look forward to having you on the Bima on many other occasions. How many years till David's? Like four. 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 four? Okay, so now you can tutor him and prepare him for that day. What do you think, David? Mazel tov. We're going we're gonna to ask mom and dad to return with you here, and we're going to turn to the conclusion of the service as we uh, rise for Alenu on page 205. Alenu da shabeach l'adon ha'kol atit k'dula le'otzeh ha'brishit Sh'lo asano g'goye ha'aratzot Ve'lo asano hanu k'mishpachot ha'adama Sh'lo asano g'goye ha'aratzot Ve'lo asano g'goye ha'aratzot We ask those of you who mourn the passing of a loved one or observe the yurt site and anniversary of death to remain standing for the mourner's Kaddish, page 207. Of this Shabbat, we remember loved ones who have died in recent days and weeks. Eugene Starr, Sanford Circus, Harriet Morrison, and Glasser. We honor the memories of those who have died as a result of the pandemic we face as a nation and as a world community and the victims of the conflagration in the land of Israel. 
a loving testimony to the faith that links to generations those who mourn and all who remember. Sanctify God's name in the words of the Kaddish. It kadal be it kadash shemei raba be olmadi vraki ute ve yamlich mal ute ve chayei chon ve yomei chon ve chayei dechol be Israel ba agala u bizman karib ve imru amen yehei shemei raba mevarach le alam u le olmei olmaya it barach ve ishtabach ve it baar ve it roman ve it nase ve it hadar ve it tale ve it halal shemei dekutsha berichu. Le Eila min kol birchata ve shirata, tush pechata ve nechemata, da amiran ve alma ve imru, amen. Yehei shlamar rabba min shemaya, ve chaim aleinu ve al kor Yisrael ve imru, amen. Ose shalom bimromav, u yaase shalom, aleinu ve al kor Yisrael, ve al kor yosh ve teven, ve imru, amen. May God, the source of peace, grant comfort to all who are bereaved. Peace to the household of Israel, peace between Israel and her neighbors, and peace to all humanity. And let us say, Amen. Amen. It's my pleasure to invite Rob Kirsch, newly elected officer to the congregation, friend of the family, to extend greetings and make some announcements. Remember when you had your bar mitzvah here, Rob? I do, just a few years ago, yes. yes. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Rabbi. Uh, Isaac, I'll make my, my remarks quick in honor of your speech. Yeah. Okay? Uh, mazel tov to the Bar Mitzvah Isaac and his family. He, uh, of course, he's the son of Dr. Michael and Karen Rothbaum and grandson of Dr. Charles and Barbara Solomon and Dr. Donald and uh, Sandra Rothbaum. Um, my, son bar, my son's Bar Mitzvah was just about 18 months ago. And it feels like it was a different era, and it's so nice to see more congregants with us here in the synagogue, so we'll look forward to getting back to normal here in a few years. But this is a very wonderful uh, beginning for that. I'd like to also invite uh, everyone who's with us uh, in person and on the internet to join us on Sunday, May 16th at 6 p.m. be a live stream for a virtual celebration of our 10th graders as they confirm their commitment to Judaism. And on Monday, May 17th at 10 a.m. be a live stream for our Shavuot and Yitzker service. Thank you for joining us this morning, and we look forward to having you with us during our many services and programs in the weeks ahead, weeks ahead of course, via the internet, and then also here in person events. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Thanks, Rob. Thank We're going to conclude the service with the uh, singing of Adon Nolam. You may join on page 211. And uh, let's invite uh, uh, the parents, and Isaac, and grandparents can come also and gather around the front, the, uh, the front pulpit, and you can watch uh, people greeting you at the end of the service. As I melech shemo nigra, ve akare kichlota kon, levado yim loch nora, ve u haya, ve u obe, ve u yet, ve tivara, ve yado af kidruhi, ve etishan, ve ahira. Him ruhi deviati Adonai veluhi ra. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. And mazal tov. We invite you who are on Zoom to unmute yourselves, and you can all wish Isaac and his family a mazal tov. We have a couple of other cameras uh, available for those of you who would like to see the going ons and. To all of you, Shabbat Shalom, Mazel Tov. Looking forward to future sim Smachot Simchas. Isaac, don't leave after this because we're going to take a picture with Rabbi Jenny and Cantor Melissa. Rabbi Jenny is joining us.
Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming, everybody. You can still look out. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Mike, you want to wave hi to anybody? You want to say hi? Thank you. I'm going to see in the chats. You can click on the chats. And see. Did you get Stacy and Joey. Okay. Hi, Stacy and Joey. Thank you. 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 Thank you